Good morning, scholars. It is the 1st of May. We have uh, come to the end of the month of April, and today we are going to wrap up our core value, root belief, Naguza Saba principle and habit that we've been focusing on for this entire month. Uh, before we start with that, if you could please take your Naguza, shop, Naguza Saba sheet out and go over those principles, um, and then we'll get started. So please pause me. All right, welcome back. So, April has come to an end, and we are now going to begin May. So since it is Friday, perfect day to review everything we've talked about um, for this month of April and uh, get ready to move into the month of May. As all of you are probably well aware of by now that our core value for the month of April has been love. Our root belief has been all of us will learn our habit has been sharpen the saw, and our Naguza Saba principle has been Imani. Um, this week, the person that I talked about on Monday that soared is Steve Kerr. Some of you may know of him as the world champion head coach of the Golden State Warriors, um, but he was also a world champion as a player. Steve Kerr has eight NBA World Championships, uh, three with the Bulls, two with the Spurs, and three as a coach with the Golden State Warriors. He is also the NBA leader in three-point shooting percentage, which might be a surprise to you since he coaches two of the really great three-point shooters in the league right now, Steph Curry and Clay Thompson. But uh, at 45.4%, he is the career leader in that percentage at this point. One of the really interesting things I found out about Steve Kerr as I researched him a little bit um, as our person that soared for this week is that he really encourages his players, even though they have different backgrounds, uh, different beliefs, different religious um, beliefs also, um, he really encouraged his team to participate in a Bible study each week. And on an average, 12 of his players attend that Bible study regularly, um, including Clay Thompson, who is a Catholic, uh, Steph Curry, Draymond Green, and also Sean Livingston um, are the individuals that attend that on a consistent basis. He also encourages his team to embrace both individuality and community. Um, a lot like one of our root beliefs, we are one family, home, school, and community. And he also en encourages them to embrace um, an environment in which they're able to speak their minds, but still value each other's views. Uh, that's not an easy thing to do, where you kind of open it up for people to share their thoughts, their beliefs, um, but not you know, discouraging others. It's okay to disagree with other people, but we still need to find a way to love them and accept them at the same time. Um, you know, our, our core value for this month is love. So talking about love, there's really a number of behaviors we focus on um, when we talk about love. One of them we are focused on this week is we consider other people's feelings when we make decisions or take action. Another one of those is we honor that which makes each teammate unique, as well as the common bonds that make us a strong community. I think that behavior is really what has made Steve Kerr a very strong basketball player and also a very strong leader as a coach. You know, I just talked about how he encourages his team, you know, to accept each other's unique traits, um, but also binds them together as a strong team. You know, they, they stand up for each other, they take care of one another, and they work together to win. If any of you have been watching um, the ESPN documentary, The Last Dance, uh, Steve Kerr talks about this and how it personally impacted him uh, when he was on the Bulls. Some of you may have seen the episode where Dennis Rodman becomes a part of the team, uh, someone that they really kind of... Um, battled against in the early 90s. Steve Kerr wasn't a part of that team quite yet, but 
um, Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen really battled against Rodman as competitors. But then when he came to the Bulls, uh, Jordan, Pippen, and Kerr really accepted him as part of the team because uh, they knew uh, creating a strong bond with, with him would you know, create a strong community or a strong team. Uh, so they accepted him for who he was. They didn't always agree about uh, how Dennis went about his business, but they accepted him for who he was. And um, they stayed true to their values, uh, but also had a willingness to learn from Dennis how to become a better team. And it was at that time that they actually set the record for the most wins in the NBA. They went 72-10. and 10. Um, Ironically, Steve Kerr as a coach actually beat that record when his Golden State Warriors went 73-9. and 9. So you can see that Steve Kerr and his root beliefs and core values have really led him to be a successful player and coach, just as all of you having strong root beliefs and core values, which we talk about each and every day um, when we're at school and now virtually, uh, can really make you very successful in whatever it is you want to become when you are older. So just remember, as, as Mr. Gring talked about yesterday, you know, let Jesus enter into your hearts and remember that he is the bread of life. We are always, um, we're not always going to agree with others, but we have to have you know, a belief in our values and live a life like Jesus and listen and love. Don't always have to agree, but listen and love others. Thank you for your time today. We're going to end here with our uh, Notre Dame prayer. You guys have a great weekend. We have a, a few more weeks here of this distance learning, so please continue to work hard. Uh, getting your all of your um, assignments turned in from your packets. I know many teachers are sending out a list if there are things that you haven't completed yet. So please, please take time to complete those things and, and get everything turned in uh, so we can have a successful uh, finish to our school year. If you would just take a moment to calm your hearts and your minds so we can end in prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, we are constant learners who seek to know you ever more fully, inspire in us a thirst for knowledge. We are a community that transmits the values of our faith to all we meet. Grant us the grace to inspire in those around us a fervent desire to seek, persist, excel, love, and serve in all we do. We are witnesses who seek to make God known, loved, and served every day. Give us eyes of faith that by learning more about the world and the people in it, we might come to see ever more clearly God in all things. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. As you can even hear in the prayer that we just uh, shared together, learning more about the world and the people in it. It's one of those excellent, excellent characteristics to have, to learn more about people like we talked about, not always agreeing with their thoughts or beliefs, but at least learning about them and having a respect and love for them. Thank you, scholars. Stay well.